astronomical telescope. The very first thing that you need to know is a telescope consists of two lenses. Okay, let's say this is a telescope. Then there's one lens here and another lens here. Okay, there are two lenses. The lens that's uh, closer to the object. Okay, because uh, we the object should be here. Okay, so the lens closer to the object is called the objective lens. Huh? And then the lens closer to the eye because your eye is here. Your eye is here to see something. Okay, so the lens closer to the eye is called the eyepiece. Huh? So we have objective lens and eyepiece. Now the second things that you need to know is among these two lenses, we have objective lens and eyepiece. Huh? Okay, so they will ask you which lens has higher power. Okay, this is a favorite question so in the exam. Which one has higher power? Well, or, okay, or they ask they may ask you which one has a shorter focus length or which one is a thicker or whatever. Okay. So which one has higher power, the objective lens or the eyepiece? Uh? Which one has higher power? The answer is the eyepiece. Uh? This one has higher power. Okay. This one we try to uh, make it as uh, the power as low as possible. So we try to make this as the power as low as possible, and to make this eyepiece uh, the power as high as possible. I will explain to you why later. For telescope, uh, astronomical telescope, eyepiece has higher power, objective lens has lower power. So this is thicker, has higher power. Uh, this is thinner, has lower power. Uh, why? Okay, why? Because, uh, because for telescope, the lower the power of the objective lens, the greater the magnification of the telescope. Okay, means that you will get a bigger image. Uh, bigger image. Lower power, bigger image. So that's the reason, that's the reasons we want to have a smaller power, lower power for the objective lens. Okay, formations of image by the objective lens. So we have objective lens here. Astronomical telescope, okay, is for us to see something which is very, very far away. Okay, the celestial bodies like the moons, the star, okay, it must be very, very far away. So the light is uh, from very, very far away. So the light from very, very far away is always a uh, parallel. Light ray from infinity, very, very far away, we, we say it's from infinity, and then uh, there are parallel. Eh? So always remember, light from very far away is parallel. So these parallel lights, they will be refracted and they will focus, parallel lights, they will focus at the principal focus of the lens. Parallel lights, eh, they will focus at the principal focus huh? so then they will form the image here so uh, that is the formations of image by the objective lens in exam huh, they may ask you to draw the ray diagram huh? okay so you need to know astronomical telescope the light ray is from infinity so the light ray that you draw is parallel okay parallel not necessarily it must be parallel with the principal axis huh? okay so we can draw three parallel ray and then so this ray it focus at the principal focus Focus at the principal focus here. So that is the image for the objective lens. And the image of the objective lens is used as the object for the eyepiece. This is the image of the objective lens. Huh? And this is used as the object of the eyepiece. Huh? Object of the eyepiece. So the light ray reach here. Okay, so image form at the principal focus. Okay. So uh so the object is from infinity, yeah? so the image form is real, inverted, and smaller. So, uh, object which is more, more than 2f, uh, is located more than 2f, it will be real, inverted, and smaller. Okay, real, in inverted, and smaller. So this image will act as object of the eyepiece. We place the eyepiece, okay, so that this is also the principal focus of the eyepiece. Eh? So this is a prince this point is the principal focus of the objective lens okay it's also uh, purposely placed that so that is also the principal focus of the eyepiece and uh since this is the principal focus okay so the light ray come from the principal focus will be reflected parallel okay it will be reflected parallel okay all the light ray is parallel so uh we 
we purposely put it uh, place the the lens here so that is this is a principal focus so that we can get a parallel light eh? because the light come from the uh, object is parallel so here we also purposely put the uh, light ray parallel okay to do this is uh, we make this the principal focus of the eyepiece eh? it's the principal focus of the objective lens is also the principal focus of the eyepiece so when you draw a ray diagram you must learn how to draw a ray diagram okay so the ray ref uh, focus on the principal focus and then so after that you reflected parallel eh? parallel uh, then we extend all these parallel lines to the back and then so then the image form at the back here okay the image form around here so the image form at infinity uh, infinity not necessarily must be far very very far away okay infinity it can be uh, sometimes it can be a uh, 10 meter away 20 meter away is considered infinity okay yep but uh, for telescope you can see that the object is very very far away huh? so the object form at infinity the, the the image is virtual inverted and magnified because this one is located at the principal focus huh? okay so it's virtual magnify but then why is inverted because before this we learned that if we put the object at the principal focus the image will be virtual upright and magnified virtual upright and magnified but why why for this one then is the virtual inverted and magnified okay that is because the object is inverted you see initially the object is upright here okay but this is the object for the objective lens this is the object for the objective lens huh? and then so you form an image which is inverted and this is the object for the eyepiece and for the eyepiece the object is inverted okay for the eyepiece so the object is inverted so therefore uh the image that you see is also inverted okay so for example sir, if you see you use this tele telescope to see moon so the moon looks something like this okay but in the telescope eh, you will see the moon look something like this this is the moon but this is what you see is inverted you will find that the image eh, is inverted so that is for normal astronomical telescope okay so you shouldn't use a normal astronomical telescope eh, to, uh, for sightseeing or what okay because the image form is inverted distance between two lenses eh? so we learned that this is the principal focus of the objective lens so therefore from here to here is the focal length f o eh? focal length o means object uh, ob uh, focal length of the objective lens and it's also the principal focus of the eyepiece so the distance between the this object to the eyepiece is also the focal length focal length of the eyepiece fe yeah? so fo is a uh, focal length of the objective lens fe is the uh, focal length of the eyepiece so therefore the distance between these two lenses from here to here okay is equal to fo plus fe yeah? fo plus fe that is the distance between the two lenses uh, this is also one of the famous questions yeah? okay they ask you to calculate the distance between these two lenses okay so first you must find what's your fo what's your fe and then the distance between the two lenses is equal to fo plus fe uh, number eight they will ask you sometimes they will they would like you to uh, calculate the linear magnification or the magnifications of the telescope eh? okay magnification means how big the image that you get the magnification is equals to fo over fe okay f o over f e so from this then then we then we know that why this one must have low power because when the power is low the focal length is big because p equals to 1 over f right p equals to 1 over f huh? the lower the power the bigger the f huh? the bigger the f the bigger the magnifications huh? okay so the lower the power the greater uh, the bigger the size of the image that you can get Okay, so magnifications and uh, sometimes they may give you F O F E and then they want you to find magnifications so therefore you need to memorize this formula so magnifications focal length of the objective lens and uh, focal length of the eyepiece eh? so this is the formula for for us to find the magnifications of telescope